Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 25 is brought to you by examtheory.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Let's take the ethene thing now. As I told, in ethene, I have sp2 hybridization. So at the same carbon, I have carbon, if you see, is my 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Right, so I'll take the outermost one. So 2s2, 2p2, 2s2, 2p2. Now in this case, I have my two carbon molecules, the same form if you see. This is my carbon, this is my carbon. So 2s2, 2p2, here 2s2 and 2p2. Now what will happen is, one electron will go to p orbital and it will form sp2 hybridized. Please note, if you see, one electron move to p orbital, it is not forming sp3 hybrid, it is forming sp2 hybrid orbitals. Okay, in this case, now if you see how it works is, the moment I have hydrogen molecules coming, what it does is, it forms something like this. So if you see, this is my 3sp2, right? So this is my sp2, this is my sp2, and this is also my sp2. So this is also my sp2, this is my sp2, and this is my sp2 hybrid orbital. This 2p is there, so this is my 2p, and this is also my 2p. Correct? So with this hybridization, I got 3sp2, this is also sp2, both are sp2 actually, 3sp2 here, and 1 2p, so 3sp2 and 2p, here also we see 3sp2 and 2p, so all these 3sp2 have equal energy. Now if you see, there is a lone pair here, there is a lone uh, unpaired electron here, so these two merge actually, so these two sp2 hybrid orbitals, they merge to form sigma bond, as I told sigma bond is a head to head overlap of two orbitals unpaired. So it formed a sigma bond. Now this guy is also unpaired, this orbital is also unpaired, all these four orbitals are unpaired. So what will happen is this hydrogen molecule will cling to it because hydrogen molecule also has this unpaired electron in the red. They will cling to it and form bond. Correct. What will happen to these two? So these two will form a pi bond. If you see they are a pi bond because they are not head to head, they are sideways overlaps. So this will form a pi bond. This is similar to this. Correct? This is a pi bond. Here also there is a pi bond. This is, this is one pi bond actually. And that's what you see if you see the shape of uh, ethene, these all are sigma bond actually, all are sigma bond. Here also the first is a sigma bond and the second one is a pi bond. So this first is a sigma bond. And this is one pi bond. Please don't, don't get confused. Don't think it is two pi bond. This is one pi bond, right? This is whole thing is one pi bond. This is one pi bond. So this is one pi bond. And these are all, if you see, it's a head-on collision between uh, this is S and P orbital. So it'll all form sigma bond. And that's how the ethene is formed. And if you see in this case, it's all sp2 hybridized. You'll see carbon getting sp hybridized in case of ethene. So again, we'll see carbon, we'll write the electronic conviction 1s2, 2p2 and 2p2, 2s2, 2p2. So we see this is my electronic configuration for the outermost shell, 2s2 and 2p2. So now what will happen is, I have my two carbon molecules, right? So 2s2 is this one and 2p2 is this one, 2s2 is this one and 2p2 is this one. The green ones are my electrons and the blue ones are my orbitals. Now. Again, same thing will happen. One electron will move from here to here. So if you see once again, I'll do that. So it's all 2p, 2s, 2p, 2p. One electron will move from 2s to 2p and it will form sp hybrid orbital here. You see, these are still 2p, 2p. So let's see here the figure. So if you see now, it comes. So here in this case, if you see, this is my 2p. So this is my sp and this is my sp right this is similarly this is my sp and this is my sp other things if you see this is my p orbital and this is my p orbital here also this is my p orbital and this is my p orbital so if you see now 
one sp has one electron one sp has one electron right one p has one electron one p has one electron correct you can say two p if you want to specify correct here also if you see one sp is one electron one sp one electron two now this sp sp orbitals since they have unpaired electron they form the bond called sigma bond right and these hydrogen atoms also form a sigma bond because it has one electron here unpaired electron one unpaired electron and they'll form a sigma bond right this is s orbital this is s orbital they form a sigma bond what will happen to these guys these guys if you see this 2p orbital they will form one bond this is one bond this will be one bond this is one sig one 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 pi bond and these guys will also form a pi bond so this will be another pi bond this is a pi bond so there are two pi bond now right i'll uh, write something like this this is one pi bond with one arrow and the one without error is another pi bond correct so i have two pi bonds and one sigma bond if you see the shape also so there is this is one sigma bond this is one sigma bond first is my sigma bond and the next two i got is pi bond hope you understand this this is my ethyne this got hybridized and it formed shape like this i got two sp hybrid orbitals and my 2p were there so this 2p merged to form this pi bond sp sp got one sigma bond and this sp and s and sp and s got one sigma bond each correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again